Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're gonna do the auto tuning on Scotty. So this is not a marketing video. This is a live video for people to understand how to do the auto tuning in Scotty AI. So the first thing you do is turn the Wi-Fi onto your phone and search for Scotty 1000. And then um, on your phone, go to uh, this URL, 172.24.24.1. We've chosen the same as Victron. Now, I have a hot um, tab on my phone that just selects it straight off. And uh, when we have a look at here on the status that we can see at the top, we see no errors, but uh, it hasn't been tuned yet. And we have a tuning page. So that's the page as it appears. So the diagnostic down the bottom here uh, says that, um, uh, that it's not charging, it's not tuning. We're on stage uh, zero here. And so now we go to the tuning page. And what it asks us on the tuning page here is how many amps, what size uh, alternator. And I've jumped ahead here. I've put 250 amps in, in this case. It asks us for a camping set point. Uh, the default's 12.5 that it's got in there. And it asks us for the backup numbers for the battery for float and for charging in case we lose the CAN bus. So it's purely a backup for whatever system you've got there. It asks you for the alternator maximum temperature. We like 100C. Um, don't go higher than 120, but you can make it a bit lower if you're a bit anxious about your alternator. Uh, the maximum discharge current, the default's 100, but you can set that. Oh, you'll see me in a minute. I'll change that to 250. Um, and then we have a smart alternator trigger voltage. You don't need to change that. Just leave that as the default. And we have the uh, discharge voltage to protect the high side battery. So if the high side battery goes below 46.2, Scotty will turn off going high side to low side. Uh, the feature in that we've got down here is a stop charge. So if this is going in a marine environment, then we have to have a stop charge feature on some batteries. And if you enable it, then the uh, feature in wire must be high for this to charge. If it goes low, if there's no 12 volt on the feature in wire at all, then Scotty will just stop, but the high side will still discharge to the low side. You can then invert that by hitting the inverted button here and uh, it will, um, the uh, polarity will work in reverse, right? And then we've got the auto tune, which we're gonna hit in a minute. It says, the message is, alternator hasn't uh, been tuned yet, please tune. And um, there's also a click here for a full parameter description, and then we can go back to the main page. So I'm doing all this one-handed. I'm just gonna change a few parameters, then we're gonna pick the video up and we're gonna go through auto tuning. Okay, I'm ready to start off. Okay, so what we've done now is, I've just updated these parameters. And uh, so now we're going to start the vehicle. We don't touch anything on this tuning page yet. Don't hit auto tune yet. We're gonna start the vehicle. We're gonna wait uh, two minutes. And the reason why we do that is we want the starter battery to balance out and get up to a reasonable voltage. So let's start again. Righto, so just imagine now uh, two minutes has passed. Okay, two minutes have passed. If you look in the top, uh, the nice thing in the phone here, you see the clock on the top up there. And so now I just check, I've got feature in disabled and um, I've got it set on a smart alternator, which it is in this vehicle. 250 amps, change the other variables, and now I hit auto tuning. Auto tuning selected. So what it's doing now is it's going to ramp up and down. So for the technically minded while we're doing this, in the top you see it says the word tuning. And what it's doing now is it's um, ramping up loads at various voltage values uh, behind the scenes, you don't see it. But if you put a clamp meter on it and a voltmeter on at the moment, you would uh, see a wide range of values going in. We're now working out the alternator curve at idle for various loads. 
And then in our pattern, we mathematically extrapolate that out and we actually form a full equation inside uh, Scotty here for this particular alternator. And then after that, any changes made or any additional load that comes on uh, we just shift up and down um, that curve. It doesn't change the curve. All it does is change the point on the curve. And uh, our uh, program's smart enough to know where we are and smart enough to know whether the revs are increasing or decreasing. So I think we're nearly at the two minute mark. Okay, so we finished the um, auto tuning here. Let's go back. You just heard the, the rev change a little bit. We'll now go back to the uh, main page and let's just have a look and see what the alternator is doing. Here we are and the numbers are pulling up and here we are running at idle and we're doing 2468, incredible result really. Alternator 66C and uh, you can see the losses on the cable here, 221 watts on the low side, 38 on the high. So we're losing all together there, probably 230, 240 watts. Uh, it's not too bad, 10% we're losing. Um, let's just take the revs up again. We're now taking the revs up. And, uh, we're doing 2700 there now. You can see we're losing some uh, watts here on the low side and the high side. We've got the idle setting on hard and that's it. That's tuned, all set to go. Now, if at any stage, yeah, you can take it down now. If at any stage on the diagnostics at the bottom here, it tells you what you're charging. It tells you the engine's on and running. And if at any stage it's not charging or you need any guidance, you hit this, this tab here and we have a full help page here that goes through everything I've been talking about. Look at this, it's quite significant. It comes down and tells you exactly what will happen if you're getting a particular diagnostic code. I've got to say, how good's that?